To make this bracelet, you'll need a small piece of pleather, a scrap of cotton fabric, some thin bias tape or something similar you can tie into a bow to keep the bracelet on, and some studs. Let's get started. Begin by wrapping a tape measure around your wrist and then subtract 1 inch from that number. My wrist is 6 inches, so I'll use 5 inches for my measurement. Cut out a rectangle from your pleather that measures the number you just came up with long by 1 and a half inches wide. Now cut out a piece of decorative cotton fabric that's an inch and a half longer than the pleather and 2 inches wide. Since my pleather measures 5 inches long, my cotton piece is 6 and a half inches long. Basically, these two sides of the cotton fabric will be 3 quarters of an inch longer than the pleather. Fold and iron both short sides of the cotton in about an eighth to a quarter of an inch to create neat edges. Now fold the fabric in half and lightly press with your fingers so you have a guideline to follow in the center, and then fold one raw edge into that center guideline and iron it down. Then just flip it over, fold the other raw edge into the center, and iron that down. Fold the fabric in half so the two newly pressed edges meet, iron one more time, and you'll have a neat piece of fabric to decorate your bracelet. Lay the fabric in the center of the pleather and top stitch close to both edges of the decorative fabric. Double check that everything's centered and start sewing at the top of the accent fabric, backstitching at the beginning and end. You don't want to use pins since it would damage the pleather, but you could actually use like binder clips to hold the two fabrics in place if you want to. Just take your time as you sew to keep things even, and remember this clip is sped up. I'm no speed sewer. Sew both sides into place. Next, we'll be using the thin bias tape to make ties for the bow closure that keeps the bracelet on, so decide how long you want the ties to be in order to tie them into a bow on your wrist and cut two pieces. Six inches was the perfect size for me. Stitch a line of top stitching all the way across each tie to keep the bias tape from unfolding. To sew each tie on, fold over one end of the excess cotton fabric to the back of the bracelet and lay a tie on top of it, so now both the excess fabric and the tie are on the back side of the bracelet. Sew these layers in place, stitching several times for sturdiness. You could technically wear it now, but I wanted to jazz my bracelet up a bit with some silver studs. Plus, as you can see in this film, the pleather got a couple of wrinkled areas in it, so studs are the perfect disguise. I bought a package of studs that you don't need any tools to use and then played around with their arrangement. Quick tip, once you decide where you want a stud, push it into the pleather slightly so it leaves an indent, marking it for when you go to put them in permanently. I arranged a stud every inch, and of course did the same on the other side too, but sorry, somehow I didn't get film of arranging that side. The back of each stud has four sharp prongs on it. To put it on permanently, place the stud where you previously left an indent and then push the prongs completely through the pleather, being really careful as you work. Press on the prongs so that they fold down into the fabric. Basically, the prongs will be pointing at each other. Remember, pointing isn't usually nice, except for right now. Hey, people who wear studs are rebels, right? <laughs> anyway, repeat until all your rebellious studs are in, and they should be pushed down enough so that you can't feel the sharp edges anymore, and of course so that they stay in place. Now just tie it into a cute bow on your wrist and show it off. Although I think cute bow and rebellious contradict each other, but I'm willing to risk it if you are. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to go check out my last video where I show you how to make the skirt that I'm wearing, which also happens to match the bracelet, and don't forget to subscribe for future videos. Bye! Do I look regal in this pose? Do I look like I'm thinking a lot in this pose?